And I think uh, 2014 is a year that I think things can change. There's a lot of momentum in the area and there's a lot of momentum nationally. And um, I feel like there's positive traction on this and that if we miss this opportunity, I think it would be uh, unfortunate and I think people should gather together when we have this momentum because that is when change can happen. For the next couple of weeks, I think people are going to hear from both sides. If you read the headlines and only read the headlines and don't talk to the adjuncts, you'll think that the, the world's imploding. I guess a couple of us just started having meetings and inviting people. Um, part-time faculty, we really became aware that there were a lot of part-time who were not wanting to step up, not wanting to rock the boat, but who were really um, interested in making change. When you see that a lot of adjunct faculty may be teaching classes that full-time or full-time faculty are teaching, but are making you know a third of that rate, it it does produce a sense of um, invalidation of their efforts. I think a union is basically an organization of people who feel that it's necessary to tell people how much they're adding to the value of what they're working on. And I think to have to organize in that way is not really the sort of culture I was brought up into, where everybody figures out how to explain you know, I'm, I'm valuable because of my personality or because, um, because I, you know, I'm such a great teacher. First official meeting was in December, late November, December of 2011. But until then, they were more um, just questioning and sort of small groups um, meeting. And then we began to meet, in fact, with um, full-time faculty came to some of those meetings. And even though it was really a, um, hmm, sticking our head under the guillotine kind of feeling to, at that time, people were still willing to take that risk. We're not doing this because we're against the institution or we feel like um, um, we personally have been persecuted in any way. What we're trying to do is get a better seat at the table because we've been at the table in the past um, informally and we've met with the administration and we've um, had a very strong working relationship with the full-time faculty who have advised us through this whole process. But in order for any real changes to be made, we feel like the part-time faculty need to organize. This past January, we just came to a loggerhead with the administration and we needed help in getting our group more cohesive even though some of that cohesive stuff was starting to happen. When we come back to the table we actually have legs to stand on. When that union option came up I decided yeah that's how to do it. That's how I'm going to tell people how much I'm worth. Right now in the Maryland area there are a lot of schools that are in the process of organizing the adjunct faculty which historically have been underrepresented and tend to have um, compensation rates that are much lower than full-time faculty so a lot of people are sort of working from their own experiences to try to find a way to gather together to raise their voice against what they see as being an imbalance. We have at least one organizing uh, committee meeting a week um, and that is mostly just to check in on the uh, unionization campaign that we've been running since the beginning of the semester. A lot of the part-time faculty don't know each other. They maybe recognize each other by face, but they don't know each other's names. And so getting to sort of share their stories has been an opportunity that we've seen uh, good feedback from. I've been doing a lot of showing up at classes and talking to teachers after classes. I think there's a certain isolation that adjuncts tend to feel um, where they only come in you know, for their class and they leave, they don't see anybody. We recognize that the part-time faculty are one part of a very large organization. Um, however, we recognize also that the part-time faculty are a major part of this institution in terms of how many classes they teach. And so if the institution is centered on education, then clearly we should have a seat at the table.